Hey guys, it's Mando. Welcome back to a new video. Today, I figured we should start uh, crafting a leather bag for our character as we only have a grasp one right now. So what we're gonna do is look around for some epic gamer loot. Uh, the first thing we need is some leather and we also need some buckles. I already have some copper, but I'll show you how to get some uh, on a new server. All right, so the Dust Bowl has some leather. I'm not sure how much it has. I didn't check just right now, but hopefully it has some or else we're gonna have to go to the mountain pass. Uh, if this bridge right here isn't built, you can just teleport onto this rock and then up to here. And we're gonna check these chests. Oh, wow, sweet, black leather. Oh yeah, I already had a black leather from some other time. Uh, but we also found some other leather in there. And uh, these worms spit acid at you, so watch out. Um, if you just avoid them, you should be fine. I'm only going to check a few chests. We already have a lot of leather, but we do need some more buckles and uh, some more leather for the strips. So I'm going to check this one. This chest is kind of cursed. There's a crystal worm in there, uh, which looks like this. It's very scary. I don't know how it got there, but it did. So, yeah. All right, there's no leather in that, uh, in that chest. So what we're going to do is check up our, our final chest here by teleporting up here and then up to here. There we go. Uh, there is another worm spawn, so be careful for that but you should be okay. Just a quick, easy look to see any leather. Sweet, we got a lot. And there we go, we should be good. So once you have your leather, we're also gonna need some buckles. I do have the copper again, like I said, but if you don't have any of the copper, you can take your pickaxe or flint on a stick and follow me, I will show you where there is abundances of copper. So right before the Dust Bowl, there is a small ramp which you can go under and get a bunch of loot. On new spawns and on server wipes, uh, there's a whopping amount of copper, uh, as you can see here. So we're just gonna mine this and we can go to the blacksmith where we can smelt it. We're just gonna shovel this in our bag. Just get all the copper, which looks like this. We don't need the rocks or anything else. We just need this to make our buckles. Here. If there's not as much, you can go over to the mines or the quarry. The front of the mines normally has some copper, which you can use. So yeah. Also, I was gonna do a mines video, but I couldn't get some of the stuff working, so that's gonna have to be delayed for a while. So what we're gonna do with all this copper we have, we're gonna make sure that we have some coal or wood of some sort. There's some wood over by where I just showed you, but... Uh, I think I have some up here in the blacksmith, like a lot of it. If this isn't built, you can just get all that wood that you need and build these stairs. Okay, so once you find your mold, which can be found over there, you're gonna put this inside of the blacksmith. We're gonna make sure that there's nothing in here. And we're gonna put our ore in. You actually don't need to have this in just now, but it saves some time later. So we're just gonna come over here and pump this uh, machine, we should get about 10 ingots, which is perfect. And there we go. There's our 10 copper ingots. So we're just going to use these, put them back in here. If you have any excess, again, dump it out using that. And we can make our molds. And we can make our buckles. And we should be good. Just put this in your bag. You can dump the excess in community storage. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get a simple rock on a stick, some sticks right here, and we're gonna go get some rocks over at the crafting building, which can be found over this hill through the marketplace. And here we are, this is the crafting building. Normally there are some rocks out here. Yep, there's a rock right here. And this is gonna be our makeshift hammer. We're looking here for the bag page with this little book. Rip it out, plop it in here. And uh, we have basically everything. The only thing we need are the leather strips and we can get those leather strips simply by plopping these on the ground. You can take any sort of blade and just chop these up into bits. And you can pile these all into your inventory. You only need nine, 
but it's good to have extra just in case you break some. All right, just like crafting the normal grass bag, we are going to simply follow these directions. I'm using the black leather that I got just because it looks nice. But if you don't have such the uh, material, it's okay. So you're just gonna nail these in. Don't go super fast, just be relaxed. And don't go as hard as you might think. Just like your grass bag. The only thing you really need to worry about is this nail here. It can be kind of tedious, so we can rotate this and get these first. It is about to break. I can feel it, so I'm kind of scared about that. Ah, it broke. So that's okay. We do have extras, which is perfect. That's why I collected them. So make sure you always have a bunch of extra leather straps, just in case. It's good practice. There we go. If you do have a better hammer, like a gold hammer, that should be perfect, but I don't, so yeah. All right, you're just gonna put another big roll in and we can start hammering these nails down. You might also wanna straighten out your arm a little bit more just use your wrist. There you go. All right, we're gonna need some more of these strips. Just hammering these two nails. Oh, okay, before we do that then, I guess we're gonna have to get another stick, which is really easy. We can just grab this stick out here. So yeah, uh, just collect a few more sticks than you need, just in case you're hammering something and your hammer breaks. Unless, of course, your hammer is a real hammer. In that case, you should be pretty okay. There we go. That's another strip. And we're just going to do the same thing over here. All right, the next thing we're going to do are these strips over here. Same process. I'll just fast forward. All right, the next thing we're going to do is take our buckles, which we crafted earlier, put them into our inventory, and we can start laying them out. If you need some more light, you can take a piece of flint, which I don't have, uh, and you can just light the place up, which I'm going to just wait until daytime to make this. All right, it's daytime now. We're just gonna keep going, put in every little buckle. Keep on going through these buckles, just like always. Again, just keep an even pace. Here we go, right on top. And we're just gonna nail this down. Almost there. And there you go. You've crafted your first bag. You can change the design uh, however you want with different colors of leather as well as different material for your buckles so we're just going to transfer all of our stuff over just like that we have crafted our awesome leather bag you can use a three more blocks of storage with this so yeah that's it for this video you guys make sure to like comment and subscribe for more content thank you guys for 200 subscribers that's absolutely insane i posted the thank you for 100 subscribers video and then like two days later it was already 200 subscribers. So yeah, thank you guys so much for the support. It means so much to me. And uh, I guess I'll just see you in the next video, you guys. Adios.